So guys, we're here in our UNOS Roadster. We're here to do a change of steering wheel mod. So today it is going to be getting rid of this one. Basically all I've done so far is pop off the steering wheel cap and disconnect the horn. So basically, I'm just going to be changing it up for this lovely genuine Momo. Um, which has been fitted to Uno Roadster. I have got the centre cap for it as well, just popped out as well, just to make sure everything is A-OK. -okay. It does look slightly bigger than the previous one, but it's nice, nice leather, so it will be, I think it'll be fairly nice to have on there. So, first off guys, uh, what you're going to do is disconnect the horn and pop off the cap as has been done. Now, in here is the main shaft which holds in the steering wheel and the boss. So this bolt here, nut, sorry, is the one you're going to want to be taking off. Um, it is a 22, according to my ratchet size. So we're going to be taking that off. Um, there's no airbag to worry about, nothing like that. Tip I would give you is to make sure your steering wheel is straight. So it's nice and straight so that you know the wheel alignment is awesome. I have got it up on ramps as well anyway. I was going to be trying to tackle the horn as well, but the horn is a bit inaccessible, uh, so I might not get around to that today. might just remote fit it and do it slightly differently, because the horn was broken beforehand. So I'm going to be taking off that nut, and then we will catch up here. Back here again, guys. Now, looking at this, we've got the bolt almost all the way off. I'd recommend having it a few turns on, because this is a bit where Corey might look a bit of a idiot when you try and take it off, because it's pretty, pretty tight on there. So I need to take that off and don't want to dunt ourselves in the face. So I'm just going to try and do that now. Just get the camera balanced a bit. Balance. Okay, so... So, I can see the steering wheel's moving pretty freely. So we can take this off its last turns. And we should end up with one steering wheel in hand. So that's the main bit done. Steel wheels are straight. And we're left with our steering pinion it goes down to the rack. So again, we'll just get the new one fitted on. You can do the new one pretty much the reverse of it beforehand, but we'll do it stage by stage, cutting in each section. And I'll so from there we'll get the nice new Momo on. Remember, take the ball out. Okay, guys, got a new steering wheel on here, still centered. So just gonna be tied up the bolt in the middle here. So. We'll go in, tighten that, turn with our socket, 22mm edge on there, remember to tighten. So we'll just swirl this round. Now in a later video, I might want to add an element of security on here because this boss here is a genuine Momo boss so you can get different bits to put in, this, in between like a quick release or you can get all other manner of things so tighten up make sure it's so just as we're away to do our next bit we're going to fit the horn button in final touch remember hook in to the horn connector that just pops in nicely <laughs> Nice and neat, centred. Unfortunately, the horn still doesn't work, so that will need to be addressed. We'll get down to that, but guys, that's Connie sitting out for today with her lovely new wheel install. As you can see, it's on there. Looks much better than our previous. I think. I think our new one much, much looks much more classy, much more in keeping with the car. So this one will be kept undoubtedly as a spare like to hold on the spares but that's it all up and in so that's all that we're going to be doing for today guys remember to like and subscribe and um, so you can keep up to date with the latest videos that's going on and next next things that we're going to do i think the next one's also going to try and get that horn sorted and hopefully by then once we do that the car will be through its mot it'll be roadworthy and we can actually get a test drive in it but guys, thanks very much for watching. Corey, signing out.